Okay, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Lockie. Today we're going to be cooking um, Atlantic cod that I bought from the supermarket. Now it's, I'm only doing this because I'm bored, but teach me something as well. So you will need oil, you will need herbs like this. Um, you will need the fish of course that I'm putting in flour now. And obviously you need flour. Um, so let's start with putting the flour in. Or putting the fish in flour. Covering it in flour. And brushing all the excess off. Okay. And wash our hands. Okay. Now, we turn this on, uh, okay, cool, so you got, um, we can take that away, let that heat up, so we'll put our fish over here, and we'll grab our oil, Tiny bit of that on. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to pick up the pan, move all the oil around. Right, and I think we should be right the cod in. Okay. It. Then you grab your herbs, or mixed herbs, I should say. Open that up. Now watch this. You only want to put the tiniest bit of herbs. I've got two different types. You only want to put a tiny bit on, like that. And you want to do that on both sides, both types. Much coming out really fast. There's not much in it. Okay. Look at that. Now we just wait. Now we just wait until. Now we just wait until it's ready. On that. On that side. Okay. So I changed. Pan so it um, cooks a bit faster. Make sure you've always got your tongs or your egg put with you. Just remember when you flip it, just make sure you keep these two here. Because you're going to be using them on the other side. Just you might put a tiny bit more on them. And then I'm starting to crackle. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll use that sign. And then we let it sit for a bit. As you can hear, it's probably crackling. So, you could have a go at turning it over. Alright, we'll right, we'll have to turn it over again. Back to the other side. Back to this side. Put a bit of hairs on that. Okay. 
And now we're just going to wait while it's cooking. Okay, I'm going to quickly run through all the lures that I use for redfin trout. I've got this blade. Uh, I've got these two trout like lures here. I've also got a Tazzy Devil as well. I've got this one. I've got uh, this one. The one I was using for. I've also got the one I was using for uh, Redfin today at St George's Lake. I've got spinner baits, oh not spinner baits, spinners for trout and Redfin as well. I've got this chubby logo if you wish to come for a dollar. And I've already got a re rig of plastic. Uh, so that's pretty much all. Oh, and plus just spoon for trout. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the lures I've got. I have a couple of poppers as well, um, but it just depends on what fish I'm going for. But that's all. Okay, so she's looking good so far. Let me check her the other side again. Looks pretty good. Lots of different ways you can cook these fish. You can crumb them, you can do what I'm doing, you could. Use the oven. Don't know why that's still on. Um, you can put lemon on them. Actually, that reminds me. We've got to get the lemon juice. This stuff's really good. Yes, I'm trying something different today because I've got chest strap that holds my phone. And she's gonna go crazy. Let's put all that lemon juice on it. And put that cook into it. Any second now, we should flip her again. I really shouldn't use this chest strap for cooking, but um, I left my selfie stick uh, in the car and my mum's at work, so. Also, we will. I've heard people ask, "Why are we going to Warrnambool when we live in Ballarat?" Um, and COVID nineteen still going around it's because we have a permanent caravan at a caravan park um, in Warrnambool, so we're allowed to go down there and stay there as long as we don't use the games room or the amenities. But I'm really excited because I will be using this rod here. Oh, no. Archer. I'll be using this rod here. Something like something like this anyway. And I'll be um, attaching five pound line to my braided line here. Um, and then I'll be dropping straight down at the jetty. Using yabbies and pro uh, yabbies and worms, I think it was. But yeah, I'm pretty darn excited. So make sure oh, oh, I'll be uploading the video maybe sometime in uh, early June. So I'll be. One, one big video. So in total, go for about an hour. Um, so go for about an hour because I put all the days that I go together, and then she shall be good. Okay, so a bit more oil on him. Okay. I think she's just about nearly ready. So we'll rinse this plate off. Sorry about all the dishes in here. There's made bacon and eggs. Okay. Use that. Give it a quick drop. And that's our serving plate.
Now, fingers crossed it's cooked on the inside. Oh. It should be. I'm, I normally always wear sunglasses when I'm cooking fish. Because I always get fat in my eye. And it hurts like hell. Um, I think if we open it up... You know we're done. Okay, I think she's just about done. Now what we'll do is we'll grab some paper towel like this. And I'll chuck that on a plate. Turn this one off. And we take her off. Put her on here. And that'll get rid of all the oil, I'm pretty sure. I cooked a rainbow trout not long ago. Uh, so make sure you go and check that one out too. Um, ready to hear some noise? Love it. I love the noise of burn, burning stuff. Okay, that smells like smoke now. Okay, so we'll let that sit. So if, if you can see, that's letting all the oil out. Okay, so now we'll take this off and we'll put that there. Now we'll put this in the bin. I'll take this with me. And look at that. It looks awesome. That's ready in about 10 minutes. Hello, Cooper. Hello, that looks so yum. You got your lemon juice there. Oh. And be careful because it comes out really, really fast. Lemon. I think so. Yeah? Okay. Time to eat it. Might be a bit hot though. Hopefully it's cooked. Cooked in the middle? Let me have a look. Pretty white. Pretty good. Doesn't look pink, so I think it's good. Good? Pretty good. Pretty good. Is it better than my trout? I wouldn't say yes. So definitely go and check out the trout video then. This mine? Yes, you can have it. Oh, thank you. No problems. No problem. Um. So now the bad part. I have to do the dishes. Um. I hate doing the dishes. It's the worst, but. My mum said, if you're going to cook all this shit today, then you have to do the dishes. So, I better get doing that. This is my new chest strap. I hold my phone. Press down and up and across and that way. Um, so, check out eBay and Camgo. I think it's something like... Where's the bag that I've got? In? Came in this bag came in that bag still got a screw in it but I don't know where that's supposed to go but yeah go and check out eBay pretty cool so it's called chest strap mount for mobile phones I think um, otherwise go to cam cam go um, and it should be the first website when you get into Google but you yeah, definitely get yourself one of those they come in handy I look forward to look. I look forward to using it when I go fishing in Warrnambool next. Um, so definitely make sure to check out the rainbow trout that I cooked the other day. Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, make sure. Are you done? No way. Look at that. 
I didn't even get one smell of it. There you go. You can have the crumbs. Even though I'm probably going to wipe it off. If you want to get yourself one of these, uh, go to, you can get them from Aldi. Mm. Cod portions. Uh, the Ocean Royal brand. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hopefully you um, understood everything. Um, but until then, I'll catch you in Warnable. Where we go on the hunt for Black Rim, possibly Mulloway. Never actually caught any. Oh, Jesus. Um, there's also S3 Perch and Trevally in there, I think. I caught a salmon also there once. Anyway, um, I'll see you in Warnable. I've got some awesome tips. Uh, I do live in Ballarat and. Um, I'm going to check out Jono and Jono um, in Dalacombe to grab some live yabbies, see if they'll work, but I'm really excited. So see you next time. Bye.